Well, Anthony Weiner's in trouble again. He got some naughty pictures that he took in the House of Representatives gymnasium, which I thought was a dumbass move. He should do what I always do, which is take my naughty pictures in the photo booth at the New York Deli. <laughs> oh, bad news, Japan is radioactive. The good news, they finally have a use for all those lead toys that China makes. At a time when everyone's worried about earthquakes, it was a really a good idea for Kirstie Alley to be on Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> so, French police are cracking down on Muslim women who wear full veils. Sadly, they're not cracking down on even more heinous fashion offense. I'm talking about the muffin top. <laughs> Stephen Tyler didn't look too good on American Idol. In fact, death looked like Steven Tyler warmed over. Joe Biden fell asleep during Barack Obama's budget speech. He blamed his night job as an air traffic controller. Bad news. Seal hunting, baby seal hunting season off the coast of Newfoundland has begun. The good news, they're shaking the baby seals instead of clubbing them. <laughs> NASA's de delayed deployment of the Mars rover. Turns out it's taking longer than they expected to bargain the price down at the scooter store. Pillsbury Doughboy celebrated his 51st birthday. Sadly, he never recovered from getting poked by the Michelin Man. His only consolation was at least the Michelin Man wore rubber. I know, it's terrible. 150th anniversary of the Civil War. We've made a lot of progress since then. Back then, Jefferson Davis owned women. The day Charlie Sheen just rents them. All those statues of Confederate generals on Monument Avenue suggest a slogan for Richmond. Richmond, Virginia, number one in horses' asses. Uh, my psychic told me that joke would suck. <laughs> so, last, uh, last month uh, they had race week in Richmond. Frankly, I thought every week was race week in Richmond. <laughs> Ran into a black guy in Chaco Bottom where they had 29 slave markets and auction houses. I asked him how he was doing. He said, I'm just hanging. Too soon. Forget mafia wars. If you play Indian wars, you get to steal an entire country. <laughs> the director of the Virginia Holocaust Museum, just down the street here in Chaco Bottom, wears a cowboy hat and uh, Stetson hat and cowboy boots. And we might ask Native Americans if they're offended by that. However, there are no Native Americans left in Richmond, Virginia. <laughs> United States tried to exterminate the Indians, and all they got were beads, blankets, and uh, a couple of helicopters named after them. <laughs> Germans tried to exterminate the Jews, and they got their own country, Natalie Portman and Kosher Coke. <laughs> so either the Jews really are the chosen people, or somebody needs to get a better agent. <laughs> the code name for the operation to kill Osama bin Laden was Geronimo. That's offensive. Code name should have been Cheney because they shot him in the face. <laughs> the Department of High, uh, Homeland Security has abandoned their old color-coded alert system. Under the old system, green meant everything was okay. Yellow was a heightened level. Red was the highest level, and brown meant change your underwear. It was funny when I tweeted it. I live in kind of a rough neighborhood. Someone tried to get into my apartment at 2 o'clock in the morning. Scared. My mouth was drier than Betty White's vagina. Somebody left a bag of dog poop on my back door. That's kind of old school. I wish they just made a nasty comment on my YouTube channel like everybody else. 
the ultimate form of music criticism is those CDs that you see. You're walking down the street and you see this CD lying on the uh, lying on the sidewalk, and it's like somebody hated that album so much that they were willing to take the chance of decapitating a pedestrian in order to get rid of that album. And the latest album I picked up was uh, Ozzy Osbourne's Greatest Hits, which is kind of confusing because I thought Ozzy Osbourne's Greatest Hits were Cocaine and Vicodin. <laughs> Katie Couric has left CBS Evening News. The only audience for Katie was a segment of the male population that wanted to fantasize about coming on her face. Only audience for Diane Sawyer is a certain segment of the female audience that fantasizes about kicking her ass. And the only audience for Brian Williams is a certain segment of the male population that fantasizes about uh, seeing him gang raped in a Serbian prison. So there's a tragic situation in Tennessee. An autistic child got confused and ran back into a burning trailer. It turns out it cost about $3.2 million over the lifetime of an autistic person. And I'm thinking, just maybe in the back of the father's mind, he's thinking, ah, run back into a burning trailer and save my son, $3.2 million. <laughs> ah, run back into a trailer and save my burning um, son from a burning trailer. $3.2 million. Yeah. So they found Blackbeard's anchor. They found Blackbeard's anchor off the coast of North Carolina. However, they're still looking for a trace of originality in Pirates of the Caribbean on Stranger Tides. And they're also trying to determine Captain Jack Sparrow's sexuality still. That's my time. My name is Chris Martin. Thank you very much.